You have to scrape the ends of the in scrape the insulation off. And I'm just going to scrape it so that I have, have it open. Then you take your multimeter, turn it on, turn it to uh, an uh, ohms because you just want to check for continuity, and you don't want continuity. Touch touch one lead to your stator anywhere, and then touch the other lead. And I'll get this so you can see. Touch this, the other lead to the wire you just scraped, and you shouldn't have continuity, and we don't. So that, that phase is good. You touch here, and touch here. Oh, whoops. Mm -hmm. So he's got a short. And like this, and just. If you can find where it's shorted and you can push it away from where it's touching, and then put a little dab of uh, epoxy to hold the to hold the so if it stays at one, you're okay. Yep. My first phase. This is where I started. Okay, and I ended it on this tooth over here, right here. So this wire right here is the end. This is the start of the second phase and the end of the second phase. Start of the third phase, and this wire right here is the end of the third phase. And if you're going to terminate a motor in Y, Y configuration, you either to pass connect the meter. You either connect all of the starts or all of the ends together. It doesn't really matter. I usually connect the ends just because that last phase it ends up sometimes being a little bit loose, and it's easy just to hold it all together that way.